Hey everybody, this is Tim with Op-Ed Daily. So I've got a bit of a story for you here. Ahmed Muhammad, he's a 14-year-old boy going to a Texas school, Irving, and he made a clock. He took a circuit board, he put it into a case, he attached a digital display, got the clock to work, had a power source and everything, so he builds this thing and takes it to school. Now before I continue, I want to say that that's this child's hobby. They did an interview of his room, and I mean, it looked like a, you know, it looked like a an electronics depot or a radio shack. He had this stuff everywhere: circuit boards, wires, connections, IDE cables, that sort of thing. That's what he does. This is his hobby. At 14 years old, if he's able to do that, that's borderline genius, and that's something that should be harnessed and encouraged. But no, so he builds this clock. He takes it to school. And ends up being arrested and pulled out of school. So he shows his teacher, the teacher I guess that he wanted to show initially, showed him. But the teacher told him, don't show it to anybody else. So he goes on and a little bit later in the day, a teacher hears beeping going on in the background. And she's like, well, what's this? You know, what? Are you, what's beeping? So he shows her, and she takes it from him, calls the principal. Principal brings the cops in. The cops arrest him and interrogate him for, like, hours before they let him call his parents. They wouldn't let him call his parents until after they were sufficiently interrogated him, I guess. Now, I want to point something out here. At no time did the police, the teacher, or the principal believe that that was an actual bomb. How do I know that? Because if it, if they actually thought it was a bomb, the teacher would have taken the bomb and she would have evacuated class. She would have talked to the principal. The principal would have evacuated the school and then they would have called in the bomb squad. But none of that happened because they knew it wasn't a bomb. So what was the problem? Because it was a quote hoax bomb. They knew that it was a fake bomb or at least they thought that he had created it in order to freak other kids out that's what they're claiming and that's total bullshit given the fact that this kid does this all the time he builds stuff why would you not be proud of the fact that you just created a digital clock on your own at 14 years old of course he's going to be proud of that of course he's going to want to show the people that he looks up to he looks up to those teachers. That's why he showed them. He wanted to be praised for what he did. Now, this is kind of a blessing in disguise for this boy because Google has invited him and his family to come and visit the company and even move to other cities and study, I guess, engineering, electrical engineering, that sort of thing. So him and his family might well be set and he might just have himself a bright future in a high-tech company like Google. Now, I'm not a big Google fan, but I tell you what, the people that work there sure do like it. And they sure do get paid well. So I hope for this boy's sake, this pans out for him. I think that's awesome. He's getting a lot of support from everybody. Uh, they were trending number one on Twitter for a long time you know it's kind of crazy but but to treat a 14 year old boy like that is just it's just absurd this school systems and this fear mongering and this oh my god he's a dark skinned boy and his name is Ahmed Muhammad oh he's going to kill everybody it, it's ridiculous this is so horrible that we even allow this kind of crap to go on in in this country and what's probably even more sad is that you'll go and read these comments on live leaks or on these news articles or whatever, and these people are, well, I can understand why that happened. Well, that's because you're an idiot. If you can understand why they did that, then you're an idiot. Because, as we all know, all teen terrorists will bring their bombs to the teachers before detonating. We all know this. This is fact, right? And we all know that all the bombs that they create have digital clock faces because we've seen 24. That's ah, such horseshit. They knew it wasn't a bomb, but they did this crap to him anyway. This is nothing more than a way to scare the shit out of everybody else and to stifle these things because people are even going to be afraid to do that kind of stuff in their own home. 
Because let's say they put a YouTube clip and somebody sees something like that in the background and they report it. And then all of a sudden the SWAT team's busting down your door, blows the face off of your child in his crib, shoots your dog. I mean, this kind of stuff happens, guys. It's horrible. So, uh, you know what? Good on Ahmed Mohammed. I, I hope this guy gets a real good job when he gets out of high school. And I hope like they'll, they turn around and sue the fuck out of the school and sue the fuck out of the police department for doing what they did and treating that boy like that. Uh, it's just, it's absurd. Anyway, if you agree or disagree, please let me know in the comment section. Uh, like this video if you like it and subscribe to my channel if you want to hear more information like this. I'll be putting out a few more videos today, so make sure to stay tuned. This is Tim with Op-Ed Daily. Peace out.